Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today is August 4th. Today we're going to be doing a full detail on this truck. Give it a nice wash in, decon it, do a, a polish on it, get some swirls out, stuff like that. And then at the end, we're going to be applying Ethos Ceramic Wax to it right here. And this, this video is going to be mainly about this wax, applying this. But we're going to show a couple of steps of getting this paint clean. So you guys will know that we uh, cleaned the paint real good as best we could before we apply this ceramic wax. And then you're supposed to get up to 12 months of protection. Um, that's what I looked up online. And then plus two, this is what I looked up. Uh, don't quote me, you guys might know. It's supposed to have something like 30% SIO2s in it. Um, I got it from a couple of different websites that basically uh, kind of confirm that on some articles on this product. So we're gonna get the washing, clean it up. And at the end of the video, we're gonna be applying this product on here. And then I don't know if I'm gonna be doing a water test again because I gotta give this back to them because this product's supposed to cure for 24 hours. And I'm gonna try to get this truck to them back tonight. So I'll just have to have them come back a different day to do a water test because you're not supposed to get it wet for 24 hours. So let's take a look at the truck real quick. Okay, there we go. Got a Ford Raptor right here. It's pretty nice. Got some nice wheels. We already did the wheels. We have videos on that. You can check them out at the end links at the end of the video. The paint's pretty clean. He did take care of the truck pretty well. Um, got a couple couple little scratches that we might have to take care of. Give you guys a look at. He's got some uh, different lights on it. He's got a nice sticker on the, on the sides. Raptor. He's got looking pretty good. Just a couple little spots that we got to really touch up. We got a little scratch right here. But other than that, it's it's pretty pretty good. Well maintained. Just a couple little spots. You know, we'll, uh, it's got a metallic in it. We'll see if we can bring this metallic out. And then um, see what that ceramic wax will look on there from Ethos. All right, we're going to get the washing to wrap see how clean we got this is a friend of mine's truck too it was it's funny he seen pictures of the last uh, Chevy Silverado I did and he was like mine's next so here it is we'll hook him up he's a good friend of ours All right, now we're gonna do some uh, decon after washing it. And that would help strip the wax that he has on here. He's got a nice coat of wax on here. I gotta ask him what he used. We're gonna go this over the vehicle and uh, make sure we don't have no iron on here. Try to get the paint the best clean as possible. We'll let it sit for a minute and then we will uh, rinse her off. And then we'll do the tar next. And after the tar, we'll do a clay bar. Just showing little quick steps real fast. All right, we'll keep going, guys. All right, guys, plus two, like I said in this video up for the Ethos wheel cleaner, I did try it on it. It does work. You can see right here where it's a little purple for right there. It's dripping from the uh, panel on the side of the truck. So you can use this as a decon for your vehicle. Um, yeah, it works pretty good because we're deconning it right now with the other side with the wheel cleaner from McGuire's. So I figured I'd show you guys that real quick. Try it out. I figured it was. Would do it because... It, it is an iron remover, and that's going to help strip some of this wax out of here. All right. Okay, next up is going to be the tar extra by CarPro to eliminate any tar on there. I felt around, it's hard to see it with the black paint, but it does have a little bit of tar. And this, we're going to spray on there. You leave on two, three minutes, and then you're going to wipe it in, and then you're going to wash it with some soap. And do not, you're not going to leave this sit for more than uh, seven to ten minutes. And if you're getting the sun on, um, the sun's beating on it, you're going to want to work quick or do a panel at a time, which will take a little bit longer, but that's okay. But uh, we got a little old cash, and we're going to continue to go. Just showing you guys some of the steps we take. Did you get it? Okay, guys, we're clay barring it now with our uh, secret boom spray. You can watch that uh, video, too. And uh, this is the reason why we clay bar, is to try to get the paint to clean as possible before we apply any wax sealant or ceramic coating in that. 
we're almost done. We got you know, probably about 80% of it left. We got the hood to do and the roof to do. And then we're gonna rewash the vehicle. And that's our steps that we do it. We're gonna rewash it with a clean slate. So that's gonna be up. I won't have no video footage of us doing it, but this is next right after good claim. Alright. Next, we've been doing uh, Giro's Garage Correction Cream on it. We got part of the hood done. Let's look at it real quick. I got this part done. Two ball right there. You see it? Got the water spots. Ball right here. looking good you can see it a little bit of difference got a couple little scratches in it still it's looking good okay we got the truck wrapped and ready now for uh the ethos ceramic wax we got uh did a pretty good job we uh um, polished it with the uh, gyros and that well the steps at the end of the video i'll show you all the products we use but this main video was for right here the ethos ceramic wax and it's basically what it says is it lasts up to 12 months high gloss and clarity it is water resistant and uv and ph so it says ph it looks like ph a resistance right here and then it's a liquid wax so basically shake well and it says to make sure the surface is cool and not in direct sunlight and we're in the garage so we're good um so this is basically apply a thin layer of ceramic wax to a clean and wax free surface and that's all the steps we did to clean it up using a form of microfiber applicator let cure for 10 to 15 minutes and then remove and then it post allowed us to cure for 24 hours so you're not going to want to get the vehicle wet uh, for 24 hours to wash it and then it basically says after that you can apply additional coats for protection and plus they have a line of products that you can use for a booster for this product for your maintenance wash to get it to, to last longer and plus two this, this product's made in the usa right here i really like their bottle i like their labels it's uh it's pretty cool it's nice and thick the label feels like a vinyl almost it's pretty cool and then i'll have the link too for uh, amazon for this product and what else do we got down here and like i said before what i looked up online it says it has 30 percent sio2s in it and that's what it's saying what else trend call usually yep that's pretty much it guys so we'll get going and uh, apply this product pretty cool dude they put these red caps in here you can save those and when you're done you can put it in here and that's going to help save your product basically we're going to shake it up very well i'm not gonna do to show you the whole process we'll put it on here we'll do a little bit of it and then we'll show the last results and so try to make a, a shorter video if we do the whole process with you guys it's gonna be a long one so we'll put a couple dots on here and i already primed my pad i like these foam pads that might be a little bit too much but we'll try out just spread it out and then we'll let it sit for 15 minutes and then yeah we could probably go less Usually in the beginning when you get your uh, pad primed up, you're gonna usually put a little bit more and then kind of go back and forth and hatch it the best you can on this panel. Yeah, it goes on nice, I like it. It's got a nice gray color to it. Put it in there. 
you can't get a smell out of it. Alright, we'll let this sit for 15 minutes and we'll take her off. And I'll we'll continue to get this thing to get it done so we can get it back to our buddy. So we can get this his truck tonight. Alright guys, so this stuff comes off real easy. Pretty much just a couple wipes and it's right off. Yeah, we've been about 15 minutes, a little over maybe. But uh, coming out pretty good. It's looking nice too. Look at that, it's raining. Can't get a day without rain, look at that. This thing might have to stay in my garage all night. We can't get it wet for 24 hours, we'll see. It might clear up. Okay, we're all done applying the ethos on here. We're going to leave it sit in the garage overnight. It's raining right now. Can't be wet for 24 hours. I'll pull it up a little bit so I can get the garage done. But let's take a look at it. I got a little touch-ups to do still. Going to do the plastic for them. Going to do the tires. I'm going to apply the Adams product on the tires since we use the Adams product to clean the tires. That's going to be a separate video. But we'll let's check it out. What do you guys think? Look at that, it's like a mirror. You can see the Corvette behind it. Oh. Oh yeah, it came out nice. Yep, still got a couple things to do, don't do it. And then tomorrow morning, I'll bring it out uh, side. As long as it's not raining, we'll look at it in the sun. And we'll check it out, get a better look at it um, in the sunlight. And then he can pick up his uh, Raptor. All right, guys, I just got to finish up a couple little things. So we'll uh, check it out tomorrow. Yeah, it's looking good. quick I'll show you at the end I'm gonna show you the products real quick everything we used on this uh, Raptor all the products but the main focus on this video was eat those ceramic wax came out pretty good you know it's nice after 24 hours you can add another coat of this and I think that's be the best bet too, to put two coats on it um, but you gotta wait 24 hours we got a few hours before the 24 hours that's why I'm not doing a water test at the end of the video because 24 hours would be about 7 o'clock today and he's going to be picking this truck up in a little bit so but he is going to hopefully he it will bring this truck back because there's a couple products from this company that I want to try out on this truck to help boost the ceramics wax and then we'll do the water test then so sorry guys we couldn't do the water test I want this to cure for 24 hours just like the directions say and uh yeah so I don't want to take any chance of getting it wet. That's why I left it over in the garage overnight when it was raining. So we were safe there. But uh, yeah, it came out nice. So let's go look at all the products we use. Let's go take a walk, guys. Yeah, my garage. All right, here's the garage. Let's go take a look at it. 
here we go. We got, we already know about the ethyl ceramic wax. And what we did do, we uh, used uh, chemical guys to just wash the gloss, clean it up. And then what we did is we did our, we did our ultimate wheel cleaner for uh, to remove tar. And then for the wheels, we did the wheel cleaner from Ethos right here. We have a separate video on that. And we even tested this on a panel to see if you can use it as an iron remover on your paint, in which it works. So you should be okay using that. And then we got your, our Tar Action Car Pro. We used that to get rid of some tar. And then we used the Adams Tire Rubber Cleaner. And then what else? Then we used Clean Slate to wash it. After all these steps, Clean Slate was done last to make sure it was washed up. And then, then after that, I did a, a IPA wipe, you know, the alcohol and distilled water on the whole vehicle before I even did the correction cream. And even after the correction cream, I we did that process again, just in case, you know, just making sure that our paint stays clean the best we can. And then we, of course, we used our boom spray for clay bar. And then the clay bar we used. Uh, it was a mother's we got some mother clay bar in here and that's what we use for mother's clay bar and we use our boom spray which actually the uh it's it's the wolfgang uh detail spray that you made make it your, your own gallon for cheap so it's a good thing because we made this and we did a bunch of vehicles so far for cheap a you know, gallon of that spray and then what else and then of course then we put this and then we used our Adams Polishes Tire Shine. That's going to be a different video. And then for the interior, real quick for him, I did clean his uh, leather seats and gave him a leather conditioner. And then on the trim, I, we used VRP. Now on the door handles, man, it just smeared. I think it was just faded a lot. Um, or the plastic was really soaking in the VRT. We did the VRT on it. Um, but that's all the products pretty much we used right there. I got to make some more boom spray. I gotta make some more videos on boom spray. <laughs> it's just to have fun, guys. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you like it, share it. Um, comment below what you think of uh, how the truck came out, how the products are, um, if you liked them, and maybe other products you used, stuff like that. Trips and tips. That's what I like to have on this video. Everybody, jump in. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you guys a lot. Later.